Hi everybody, uh, De Paris here, and I've actually decided that I want to start making these videos um, where I kind of explain my books and my characters and the worlds revolving around my books and stuff because that's what I'm really passionate about and I feel like I should be focusing on that more. So this first video here I've decided I'm going to introduce Finn and Ron who are the characters of my Hypernova series. Um, yeah, and we'll just start with some basic stuff. So first of all, when I write my stories, I like to run my characters through a Myers-Biggs personality test. And I just kind of get a basic read on their traits so I can start to develop them. And uh, yeah, a few tweaks here and there. And basically my characters are really flushed out and, you know, they're golden. Um, the Myers-Biggs personality test, it puts you basically into these 15 personality types. So there's like ENFP, um, INTJ, and stuff like that. Um, and I actually urge you to check it out if you can, because the tests are actually pretty cool. Um, and they're lots of fun, even if you don't believe in personality tests and stuff. But enough rambling. I'll just start with explaining who Finn is. And Finn is the main character of my book. And he's 17 years old, and he was born in Bayside Heights. Uh, his mother is a waitress and his dad travels the globe just on like various business-like transactions, I guess. He's just a businessman. But more importantly, he has his elder brother, Ron, who at the beginning of book one is presumably abducted by aliens when he's 12. And as most of you know, um, Ron comes back five years later and he actually invites Finn to join him on some like crazy space adventures. So Finn is an INFJ which I think means he's introverted, intuitive, feeling, and judging. So he's very reserved, um, but he's also highly sensitive to how people feel. Uh, he has a really high moral standard for himself, and he really dislikes failure. And even though he's introverted, it doesn't mean he's a pushover by like any means. He's not like a shy character, I guess you could say, because he's like fully capable of speaking out for himself, and he does it multiple times throughout the story. Especially, like, defending people that he cares about. And his, uh, I'd say his biggest character trait is that he sees the world and most people in, like, black and white. So he's very good is good, bad is bad kind of thing. He'll relentlessly attack people who, like, oppose him and he'll protect those people that he really loves, like, to the death, basically. And that's made very apparent right off the bat in the uh, first book when he states, uh, chapter one, that, like, all bullies are jerks, even though he can kind of, like, em understand and empathize, like, where they come from. Uh, and in the second book, he also refuses to tattle on Ron for something, like, I won't spoil, but even though Ron is lying to the High Council and Lieutenant Umu, so this shows that, like, even higher-ups, um, he'll choose his own family and stuff over people who hold really high states of authority. Uh, some quick strengths. He's sensitive to the needs of his friends. He's very intuitive. Uh, he likes to focus on the future. He doesn't get too stuck in ruts uh, unless he's disappointed in himself. Uh, he enjoys thinking about the deeper meanings of life. He's very introspective. Um, I think the funnest thing about my characters are their weaknesses, so I'll list off a thing of those, a few of those. Uh, he can be overly sensitive. Um, definitely can be difficult to get to know. Um, just because, you know, like I said before, he's introverted, likes to keep a lot of stuff to himself. Uh, he's very stubborn, and his high expectations of himself can sometimes backfire. Also, he has a electrophobia, I think is the way you pronounce it, which is the fear of chickens. And I don't blame him. All right, and next we're gonna do uh, Ron Bates, which is his elder brother. He's the other main character. Mostly, mostly Finn is the main character just because like that's who you see through. Uh, it's from his point of view, but Ron is there with his journey basically the entire time. So Ron is also a main character. Uh, he's an ENFP, so he's extroverted, intuitive, feeling, and per preserving. Yeah, I think that's what the P stands for. Basically, he's the exact opposite of Finn. Uh, Ron has excellent people skills and he's highly charismatic. He's flexible uh, with his schedule and he really enjoys keeping his options open, especially when it comes to problem solving. Uh, Ron believes in the best of people 
and he likes to give them the benefit of the doubt. Um, maybe he's a little bit too trustworthy. Uh, his most notable trait is definitely his sense of humor, which he may or may not use as a coping mechanism. Um, honestly, I'm also an ENFP, so I might be a little hard on him just because I under I feel like I understand Ron a lot more than I do Finn, uh, funny enough. Uh, his strengths, uh, he's warm, he's enthusiastic, he's got strong people skills, he's fun and spontaneous. His weaknesses, which I think are way funnier, he's hopelessly disorganized, which I vibe with, he struggles to follow the rules, and he constantly needs approval from others. Um, and he's also pretty overly emotional, a lot like Finn. Like, let's be honest, the best characters are the emotional ones, because who wants to read, like, a sci-fi adventure centered around a bunch of stone-cold statues? Maybe if this was an adult novel, we'd want that, but no, we want, we want emotional people so we can watch them go through all the hard stuff. Also, Ron loves pizza. Like, a lot. Maybe a little bit too much. Oh well. Thanks for watching, guys.